The news of Queen Elizabeth's death was not wholly unexpected. She lived to the great age of 96. After enjoying markedly good health for so long, the oldest monarch in British history had recently appeared more fragile. She had understandably become a more private woman since the death of Prince Philip last year, and had been less publicly visible undertaking lighter duties. All of us knew that this moment was approaching. Her departure is a watershed moment for Britain at once. It is actually incomparable and incalculable. Elizabeth II was the Queen of the United Kingdom and the 14 other Commonwealth realms. Elizabeth was born Mayfair, London as the first child of Duke and Duchess of York. Her father ascended to the throne in 1936 upon the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII. The Queen came to the throne in 1952 and witnessed enormous social change. It makes both the loss of a revered monarch the only one most Britons have ever known, and the end of a figure who served a living link to the glorious World War II Britain, preceded over its fitful adjustment to a post-colonial and a post-imperial era. There is no analogous public figure who will have been mourned as deeply in Britain, Winston Churchill might come closed, or whose death could provoke a great reckoning with the identity and the future of the country. Elizabeth's extraordinary longevity lent her an air of permanence that makes her death even an advanced age somehow shocking. Her son, King Charles III, has said the death of his beloved mother was a moment of great sadness for him and his family. and that her loss would be deeply felt around the world, and this is very much true. The loyal family's future under a new king, Charles, is uncertain. Her married, his second wife is Camellia, the Duchess of Cornwall, and his ascension to the throne is no longer in doubt as it was during his personal struggles. The royal family has now entered a period of mourning, officially engagements will be cancelled and union flags will be flown at half-mast on a royal residence and government buildings across the armed force and the UK post overseas. As this was the great loss indeed. Well, we all have to die and that's the final truth. Wishing her a rest in peace. And that's all from today guys. So if you're new, make sure to hit the channel for more of the updates. See you all soon. Till then, have fun, good luck, and peace.